you welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be talking about capital rationing which is the last subtopic and capital budgeting capital budgeting refers to the investment in long-term assets of a business and it's based on assumptions like cost of capital it's based on an assumption that there is limited capital then certainty of forecasted cash flows and then independence of investment projects. They believe. Independent projects are those projects that can easily be run with other projects. Yeah, because they all have different goals to achieve, like operating a mobile money business and a salon together. Those are independent projects. So in capital budgeting, we they assume that all investment projects are independent. Though these assumptions may not be true because sometimes firms are faced with situations which involve mutually exclusive projects, limitation in capital and cash flows that are not subjected to certainty. And that brings about capital rationing. There are four capital rationing refers to the technique used to allocate funds among profitable investments in circumstances where a firm has limitation in its capital expenditure budget. Capital rationing is when you have very many projects to choose from but you cannot implement all the projects so you have to choose the most profitable projects to implement because of limitation in the funds. Under capital rationing only a few of the Profitable projects are implemented due to lack of funds. You cannot implement all the projects. You have to just choose the few profitable ones. Yeah. There are two types of capital rationing. The first one is soft capital rationing. And then the second one is hard capital rationing. Soft capital rationing arises as a result of limitation in the level of capital caused by factors within the organization and this can be addressed. Um, an example is the risk perception of the management when the management doesn't want to incur a lot of risks by over borrowing so you have limited funds. Then the internal borrowing limit when you as a business you cannot borrow beyond some amount so it will limit on the amount of capital that you have as a business and hard capital arises as a result of limitation in the level of capital caused by external factors soft capital rationing is caused by internal factors then hard capital rationing is caused by external factors e.g restriction in loan agreements lack of functional capital markets and then high cost of capital in form of interest. Capital rationing projects may also be categorized as divisible projects and indivisible projects. Divisible projects are those projects that can be implemented in parts. You can divide them and implement them in parts. And divisible projects are selected using the probability index technique. Then indivisible projects are expected to be implemented in a whole, a hundred percent, you cannot divide them. Indivisible projects are selected using the NPV technique, net present value technique, by combining a number of projects that give the highest NPV. Let's have an example. Neura Incorporation has a capital expenditure ceiling amounting to 200 million in a given financial year. A company has evaluated a total of seven independent projects as indicated in the table below. The table has projects A, B, C, D, E, F and G and then the costs of the projects and then the net present value of all the projects. Yeah, net present value of all the projects but in project F we have a negative net present value so we shall first eliminate it reject it immediately 
the saying required assuming the projects are not divisible select the best combination to be taken we said when the projects are not divisible we use the net present value technique in order for us to choose the best combination to be taken when the projects are not divisible we shall draw a table we shall have the column of projects the column of cost the column of npv and the column of rank then we shall start choosing the combinations of projects that we think will be able to meet our capital expenditure budget let's have our first guess maybe project a and b and c yeah then we add the costs for all the projects the cost for project a is 20 million for project b is 40 and for project c 75 and the total cost is 135 million we also add the npv for a b and c and it gives us a total of 142 million yeah but from the question we had the total expenditure amounting to 200 million and this combination of a plus b plus c is giving us 135 million yes we are going to first record this in our table projects a plus b plus c they give us a total cost of 135 million and a total npv of 142 million then we shall look for another combination because this combination is not the best let's choose another combination of a plus b plus e yeah then we get the cost of that combination the cost of a is 20 of b is 40 and e is 80 so the total cost is 140m and remember our overall cost of the project is 200 million but this one is giving us 140m then we even add the npv we have 12 plus 30 plus 150 we get a total of 192 million then we shall come and record it in the table project a plus b plus e it has a total cost of 140m and total npv of 192m yeah it's not the best option so we shall still estimate another combination let's have another combination of a plus d plus e yeah and the cost for a is 20 for d is 100 for e is 80 and the total cost is 200m yeah this is a perfect combination because the total the total expense of the project is 200m and this combination is giving us 200m and it's giving us npv of 382m yeah so we shall record it in the table project a plus d plus e with a total cost of 200m and npv of 382m yeah it's a perfect combination but still we can estimate other combinations we shall estimate for other combinations like combination of b and g with a total cost of 190m and npv of 305m then a plus c plus d with a total cost of 195m and npv of 332m and other combinations then after we shall rank the combinations to see which combination is the best we rank using the npv column and in the npv column combination a plus d plus e has the highest npv of 382 million followed by a combination of a plus c plus d with a total npv of 332m then other things we have number three number four number five number six up to number seven 
so a combination of project A and D and E will be taken since it has the highest NPV and that was all about capital rationing for indivisible projects or projects that are not divisible then let's look at capital rationing for projects that are divisible we are going to use the same example like what we used for projects that are not divisible but under required that I've said assuming the projects are divisible select the best alternative yeah so we are going to choose the best alternative when we are using a method for divisible projects and we said when projects are divisible we select a project using the probability index technique when projects are divisible we shall first draw the table as usual indicating projects cost npv yeah projects we have from a to g and then cost we indicate them as they were given in the question for a we have 20m for b we have 40m for c we have 75m for d we have a hundred m for e we have eight m and for f we have sixty m lastly for g we have one hundred fifty m then npv yeah they're also as follows and for f for project f it's a negative twenty m therefore we reject it yeah it's not considered because it's already negative then we shall have the column for probability index and we calculate for probability index by dividing npv with the cost then plus one so for project a we shall have 12 million divided by 20 million plus one and we get 1.6 then we record it then we shall do the same for the rest of the projects yeah and we get the probability index for all the projects and for project f it had a negative npv so we reject it yeah then after we shall rank them and project d has the highest probability index so it becomes first then followed by project e followed by project g yeah followed by project c and others like that after ranking the projects we shall have to add the cost of the top projects yeah to see whether we get the 200 million which was the total expenditure yeah then according to the rank the first project was d with the cost of 100 million and the second project was e with the cost of 80 million and they give us a total of 180 million 180 million is less than the total expenditure of 200 million so we need to add to add another project and our third project according to the ranking was, was g with a cost of 150 when we add 150 to 180 it becomes excess since they are divisible projects we shall get some we shall only get part of g we shall not take the whole of it and in order for us to calculate for the part of g that we are supposed to take we shall have to use a formula as a formula of remaining balance out of the cost of g times the npv of g in order for us to get the amount that we are supposed to take from g the remaining balance is 20 since we had a total of 180 and the total expenditure was 200 million so the remaining balance was 20 out of the cost of g which is 150 times the npv of g which was 275 when we use a calculator we get 36.7 m which is approximately 37 m so we shall only get 37 m from project g 
out of the 150M, we shall only get 37M. There are for a combination of the projects that we shall implement, we have D plus E and part of G. Yeah, when we get the NPV of those three projects, we get 470M. And that's how we select the projects to implement when projects are divisible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Yeah, and watch my next video. We shall be introducing the 50th topic in financial management, which is dividends decision.